Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Salt and Shield 2 player loss log with me against Vox70 Place. Um, we are about to engage in another versus battle very soon um, and I think this is the setup I'm going to go up against her with. It's very limited what she has to pick at this point but I'm still... <laughs> the odds should theoretically be in my favor but knowing me probably still gonna mess up. So, that's that. Um, I'm gonna just, you know, set up everything and we will magically swoop forward to either, well, to, to when we start. So, yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Yeah, hi. Sorry for dropping in at the very start of your stream. That was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Not, not intended. <laughs> Zero eight five two two five eight zero is the code. Wait, what? Zero zero eight five two two five eight zero. You can see it on. You should be able to see it on screen now. It should make a lot of sense to you. Five two. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then dot battles. Exactly. And connected to the internet. <laughs> and connected to the internet. And hopefully, a staple connection today. Hopefully, yeah. One could hope. Oh, already found! That's positive! Wait, did they... Hmm... I don't trust this connection. <laughs> I don't trust this. They <laughs> might have improved it. That would be awesome. Game Freak. Hmm... Double battle, no restrictions? Oh... I am... So... Hmm... Remember to pick a full team. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I make that mistake often. It's just usually <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, I'm picking my leaders. Communication error has arrived. Okay, okay. So everything's everything's like it usually is? Usually is. I'm just waiting for it to... There we go. Ending communication. Right. Uh, it's next to internet again because I... Okay, it was say. really quick at finding you, though. True. Just the same code again? Yep. Cool. That is the code we're going with. <clears throat> zero hmm. five two two five eight zero. Here we go. So, what... what um, Like, setting aside what you want to see happen in today's fight, what do you expect? I don't know what to expect, because you're trying to outread me, and... Well, you've seen how that goes every time. <laughs> I actually have less options than what you would believe me to have. I after picking uh, after picking my team, I realized wait, you have two more Pokemon that I forgot about. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you might bring one or two or either of them. Uh, yes, this would be the setup. So yeah, um, I might have already goofed. In the planning stage. <laughs> we'll see. It's a classic. Uh, classic I have a very state. interesting setup here, at least. Okay, let's see what you have. Oh, oh, they changed it so you can see it without pressing the check opponent's Pokemon. That's nice. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, you have both of the ones I forgot. And you brought one of the Pokemon I didn't expect, in quotation marks, but kind of figured you might just to throw me off. <laughs> I'm peasant. Yeah. <laughs> ah. It makes sense. It's one of those that it's like, yeah, I can live with losing that. Uh, well, then comes the question of which order they go out in. <laughs> that is a good question. Mm. There we go again. <laughs> I'm probably... thinking you might you might start with your dragon because that would put you uh, ahead with a strong sweeper. Why are you so good at reading me? Except I didn't actually think of why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, dragon is weak to Ooh, do, 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 ice, and that's it. Okay, I know what to do. Uh, 
Oh, huh. Okay. 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 Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, the kitty gloves are at this point. Interesting. That's usually my uh, thing. Yep. It, I'm assuming Whirlwind doesn't work on a Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, well, interesting. <laughs> You're going for Whirlwind. I'm assuming it doesn't work now. Oh. Oh, it's a multi-hit attack. Okay. How many hits? Uh, once per party member. Oh. Well, five. Oh, like that. Full team. Okay. Wow, you're fast. Yes, I am. Admittedly, did take the bear to for being a fast one. Okay. Not only okay. that, it's even faster when it's tailing. Okay. King Swamp is already paying off. Okay. Well, I mean, Whirlwind wouldn't do anything regardless. I don't think it can hit a Dynamax Pokemon. Hmm, see, Sonic is an issue if he gets to hit. Oh, <laughs> you're Dynamaxing too. Yeah. I kind of feel like I'm obligated to do that now. <laughs> Thank cats. I'm glad you like the nickname. <laughs> it's, it's a cool, cool name. It's uh, Saria is uh, an Obots character. He's a big tanky thing. Ah. Yeah, makes sense you would name it that. Yeah, that was my thought. Oh, Axka. Yeah, look, I can do stuff that isn't just attack. Bye, Spyro. Yep, bye, Spyro. Admittedly, the moment I realized that you had those two Pokemon, I was like, I should not have brought Spyro. But at that point, I had already locked my team. So it's like, yeah, it would be cheating to go back on my setup now. So... Um... I had a feeling you might open with it, but I had opened with the double ice type regardless. Oh yeah, it's ice. I forgot that it's not just dark type. Yep. You have the advantage now though. Slightly. Let's see how you use it. It's super I'm gonna F it up. It's so fast! Yep, it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. And one of the few things Wait, that you really can Oh right, Hellstone. Yep. Mm, I'm so used to Sonic being the fastest thing alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sonic, you're disappointing me today. Uh, Maddie, the comment section is telling you that you need a Genji. <laughs> <laughs> so it's sort of like Hammond. I mean, if I if if my gr if uh, if my Grenin gr Grin if my hamster no not hamster if my squirrel hadn't already uh, been caught by Vox and named I would could have called that one it's close to a hamster. I mean a squirrel is really just a climbing hamster, right? I'm good at animals. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. It's not good. It's no good. Oh, that's an old cartoon by now, actually. I remember that. They used to run Fox Kids. Oh, that's a tangent. <laughs> Mararame, here we come. Oh, look, it's Bird Brain. It is indeed a Bird Brain. So here's the question. Who's faster, the bird or the man? Because my bird is also fast. I have a pretty fast team. I have priority moves. Eh, I can live with that. I <laughs> lost the round, but... Uh, but this allows me... Yep, my run is faster. I'm assuming. I, I survived. Um, Ooh. Oh. You did not. That was... 
I was thinking I survived the Dynamax, but um, you, I mean, no. Yeah, well, technically yes, but no. <laughs> I didn't just survive Bridget now. Well, uh, it is super effective against Ice, so. True, and Dark. Ah, Steel is not super effective against Dark. No. Well, Dark is. Yeah. I, I was thinking. I thought you meant the Pokemon itself. Um. Now I have the advantage. And Bridget's gonna bite it. Four times super effective 120 move. I don't even care that I'm announcing it. Unless you're protect, you're not surviving this. Well, technically you could also change it. Switch the car the Pokemon. But then whatever comes in, it's gonna have to absorb the Pyro Ball. I am so not in a good place right now. It's not gonna pay off. Mm. Wait, Miku is alive? Huh. Yeah. For some reason I thought Miku was dead. No, Miku still lives. Miku lives on. Interesting. Ooh, that still hurts. Yep. Fuck does. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh god. Ooh, that's scary. No, but I... Hmm, interesting. I'm fast than you. I am faster than you. And I'm also deader than you. Um... Yeah, I've lost. Now it's not scary anymore. And yeah, I, I am inclined to agree. You cannot come back with one Pokemon against three. No, because you're gonna take Brickit out as the first thing because your hamster is so fast. Um, shoot. My hamster Mi isn't fast. Miku is super... <laughs> I, I'm still gonna call BS on your hamster every single time because it's fast and it has a move that has no downside and deals so deals damage equal to a move that normally has a downside. And I know you say, oh, but it's a it's like it's a move that only this Pokemon can learn. Yeah, that makes that specific Pokemon BS. <laughs> it doesn't. The, 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 the thing is, it's balanced in a way where this particular Pokemon only has one typing, for instance. And this is the only thing that can learn it. You can't really. Comparing to, let's say... Wait, what happened to your bird? I U-turned it. Oh, that's what happened. And it survives, yep. And that's the problem with Bubble Beam. It's a really, really bad attack. It's a really decent attack, but uh, you're using a physical Pokemon. Well, it's also... It's only 65 damage, come on. 65 is good if it's against something that's super effective. Assuming you're not using a Pokemon that isn't at first, that is that has a proper stat in the stat you're using. 65 Power is still BS. I'm gonna say it every single time. This is not because I lost, because I saw that coming the moment I I, I remembered that you had two against my my Dragon type. I would have brought Arcanine. I swear, I should have brought Arcanine. Um, I will say though, it's it's fair in our situation because you would have had Snipe Shot, which would have been equally good. No, I wouldn't. I lost that Pokemon long ago. Oops. Yeah, you did, but you you would have had it. As <laughs> yeah, far as the does... playthrough go goes, it's fair. Well, it that move it's is also BS though. <laughs> I don't care if I have the advantage or you have the advantage. A move that has that much damage and no downside is not a fair move. I would have said that if I was on on the other side as well. I've actually not decided what I want yet. All right, you have to take one of my Pokemon. I was hoping I could just give you Saria, but now I'm worried because you could potentially block something that I really have planned around. You can have Haru back. I wouldn't mind that. At this you point, <laughs> Haru was my main, my go-to catcher. Yeah, you still have two more to catch. <laughs> I just got quick ball the suckers. I know. I do like both ground and rock. So that Rhyperia is looking. 
might mighty interesting. I have to say that. Very honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I brought it specifically because I figured you could use it if I won. Which, at this point, let's just face it, I'm not winning again. <laughs> not that it matters. I looked it over, and it's either Rhyperia or Gorgeist. I'm taking Rhyperia. Okay. I forgot I had Gorgeist. I remember that being an integral part of my mid-game team, I think. Was that on my monotype? No, it was no, my mid-game team. No, you did you use Morgana a lot. Yeah, I did, right? Yeah. Set with code. Just the same code. Yep. Already set up. Oh. On my way. I needed to remove the items. So what do I get? I'm I'm guessing a Madarame. <laughs> Actually, you're getting a pretty decent nice type. Evil. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you just want rid of it. Actually, it's because I have two different ice types, and they're both fast physical sweepers. It's so ugly, but I'll take it. It's not bad. And fact, you're giving me something ugly in return. True. When I was grinding for Route 10, I accidentally yeah. ran into the overworld encounter with the freaking bear. I was like, oh, it shouldn't be that bad. Level 55! I ran away faster than you can say my name. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It yeah, relies it's on its carapace to deflect incoming attacks and throws its enemy off balance. As soon as that happens, it drives its drill into the foe. Um, Forty-seven. I lost two grinded levels <laughs> for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, at least, it's not at the cap. True. True. <laughs> But um, I think that's everything. Yeah, yeah. And 52 is the current limit. Oh, wait, what? 52? 52. Yeah. I thought it was 49. Oh, wait, we beat, we beat Hop. Yeah. All right. I we, have. We, ju we just wrapped up our um, battle, so yeah. True. I forgot about that. Well, I will leave you to your continued adventures then. Um, Thank you. And, uh, well, GG. <laughs> <laughs> GG indeed. And bye. Bye. Well, that went roughly how I expected it to. I'm gonna be honest, Vox is just that much better at this game, and... If I'm winning anytime, it's gonna be a fluke. <laughs> uh, I know what happened here though. It was definitely because I brought uh, Spyro to that match. I forgot. I, I had not updated the list of Pokemon uh, that each of, it has, each of us had caught slash lost until this point, so I tried to do it off memory. I forgot he caught two Ice Pokemon. That kinda screwed me over. I think I might have had a better chance if I had brought either Arcanine or actually probably Murray instead to deal with Cinderace. But other than that, that... Arcanine could probably have helped take care of the initial lineup. Although she wouldn't have had that lineup if I hadn't brought Spyro. I don't know, man. But things went the way they went and uh, we'll just move on from here. I will time travel to the next episode. Oh, well, not next episode. You you will wait a few seconds and get me to the next part of the game. And I will take a few days before I get there. So, so time has passed again. It's been like two, three weeks. I believe the last thing that happened was that we lost against Vox. Um, let's just double check that. Yes, because we got, we got evil. Okay. No matter. We're here for completing the Nozlock, not for for beating a box. So, um, the next section is, is a lot of battles against um, steel types. So I am going to prep my team for specifically that. Um, I'm thinking that 
Sork should be able to handle that perfectly fine, actually. <clears throat> Alternatively, we can put Silver Fang on it, but I think Silver Fang will be for the tower segment instead. Um, other than that, I think we'll basically just throw a bunch of stuff on here. I need to check something real quick in regards to Osaka, because now that the... Um, now that the Isle of Armor is available, we can actually evolve that, but I need to figure out how. One moment. So apparently it's as simple as getting a specific item that uh, Vox always showed me how to get on the last stream that they did, and then just use it on the Pokémon. So we'll be doing that. Also, if I sound weird today, I'm having a problem with coughing, uh, partly because of allergies, and I also just woke up. And as we all know, the perfect way to play a Nuzlocke is when you just woke up, as we saw last time when I lost two Pokémon, so that's gonna be great. You know what, we'll, we'll put this on just for leveling up as well. Is there anything else that hasn't... Uh... I mean, we have plenty of things that aren't leveled up. Oh, we should probably bring a back up <clears throat> for the team just in case we need... Uh... We'll bring Kanti. Kanti can... Kanti is uh... fine to bring. I mean, right now, max level is... Max level is 52. 52? 52. Um, so we'll just bring Kanti just for the sake of having Kanti with us as a backup. And if he or whatever, so well, too bad. So, we'll continue on with the story then. I believe it's a story because we have to go up the Rose Tower now. Um, beat up Macros Cosmos. It's just a bunch of steel tabs, which is why I'm just having our fighting tab up front. Shouldn't be an issue at all. Shouldn't be an issue at all. <clears throat> Hey Pierce, I cannot remember what voices I've given anyone. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from the battle with you, Maddie. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Maddie. <clears throat> Let's help out together. <clears throat> what a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Miss Oleana? One moment. <coughs> oh, my voice is all kinds of effed. Champion Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Mount Rose Tower. That means as long as the champion Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Tiam and Rose does enjoy this kind of uh, menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? You think you can find me? <coughs> what shall we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Maddie. Team Yell's yelling will handle this. No, this isn't. This is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. Okay, hop. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Sure. I don't have an issue with that. All right, let's all walk together and head for the Rose Tower. Let's find Oleana's League staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? I mean, he's not wrong. Um, which one is it? It's not this one, right? No. Hmm, I know it's not this one. No. Is it... Oh, right, is it the first one? Is, yeah, the first one is right here, I forgot that. Hey, Matty! This plug's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising, so that he'll have no choice but to look this way. We already have the key, you know. What? Blast, I turned around, and I can't escape? In that case, time for a Pokemon battle! Macros Cosmos Eric. 
See, we fight him three times. He has two Pokemon in each battle, which means he has a full team of six. But for some bizarre reason, he decides to split them up like this. So this should be as easy as just brick breaking them in one hit, because Sonic is fast, Sonic hits hard. Sonic is super effective. So there goes the um, first one. We get some levels. It's good. It's good. Endurance, not a problem. Um, once we hit the Isle of Armor, from what I could tell, we get an, a charm. Oh, my tears will really get you going. Thanks for the help. Um, we get... Well, that makes it even more easy, actually, <laughs> the cheering. On Isle of Armor... On Isle of Armor... What in him? Hmm. <clears throat> we get um, a charm, an XP charm, I think, which ups the amount of XP we get, which will make grinding easier. So, but yeah, I think this should work fine. <laughs> Reversal. An all out attack that becomes more powerful the less XP the user has. I am not using that. Too risky. Can't he levels up? It's fine. Rock polish. That's a buff move, right? The user polishes its body to reduce drag. This sharply raises the speed stat. Roly coly. Gonna take that. We're probably not gonna use um, Luca, but you know. I'm leveling it just in case we need to back up Genti, I guess. <laughs> Disable? Instead of Growl? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Yay! Don't suddenly talk to me like that, I accidentally turned around! He mad, bro. <laughs> All I need is to hide, and I won't have to give you the key! Dude, you could also just, you know... It's a wonder how fast the guy could run. I've got no idea where he went, Gov. I'm just sitting here thinking, couldn't he just, you know, do the smart thing and leave town? If it's that important that we don't get the key card, wouldn't that be the most sensible thing to do? That we we just run around, but he could literally be anywhere. Or even <laughs> actually, even smarter, he could use the key card to take the monorail to Rose Tower, because we can't go there without the key card. This guy's strategy is all over the place, although I guess he was instructed instructed to to make it like a mini game by Oliana because um Rose enjoys it, so... How'd you find me? What, did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever, I'll defeat you this time. Well, I knew exactly where you were, mate. Eric. More will. More, more wild. More will. That thing with the hair. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. We're faster, we're stronger. Not a one-hitter, though. And then it uses Iron Head, which is exactly the same as Durant. I don't like that it does that. Feel that flow? Yeah, you're feeling it, Maddie. Yeah. Good, up our, our stats. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, this entire segment is basically just on rails because our team is like super tailored for it. Water pulse. The user attacks the target with blah, 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 blah. this may also cause confusion. Not super strong, but compared to what does it evolve into? Just a pure psychic? A poison psychic. Okay, so that's actually a good idea to keep that over this, I guess. We already have confusion, it's fine. Escadrill. This one is This one is terrifying. Wait, wait, wait. What is Escadrill's typing again? Um Escadrill. I need to make sure that I'm not making a mistake here because we already lost one to this guy. It's ground steel. Still is strong. Oh ground steel, that should make him. One moment. Sweet to fire. 
Still is not strong against uh, still strong against ice and rock. Okay, so we will not use Kanti. He's weak against fighting, but he's also fast and strong. He's a lower level than us. We did get a defense boost. I think we're fine to not swap. <clears throat> I'm gonna test how strong he is by healing before anything else. Hopefully he cannot take us out. Rock slide. <laughs> okay, if that's if that's the best you can do, mate, I'm not really afraid of you at all. Oh, I'm also faster. Well, I didn't even need to heal. Perfect. Look at those devils, it's beautiful. Shadow Ball. Ooh, yes. Yes, I do like Shadow Ball. A blob in target that makes also lower, it's higher. Shadow Punch is... Ooh. Curse? Let's get rid of Curse. Bye, Curse. <clears throat> it probably has its uses, I've never found it, but... Ancient Power, this one is good. This one is good. Like, super good. Um, yeah, buy tackle. <laughs> we know because we still have it on, on, on Kanti as well. Basically just building a Kanti 2.0. And I even switched off my Pokemon while I was running! Why would you, why would you do that, mate? Why? Oh, roly Coley. Sorry, Luke evolving. Yay! I realize it's a bit bossy of me to be level evolving right now, but eh. Wait, so this is just a level evolve, right? It's been so long, it's not an item, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's level 34, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, I wish I didn't have to constantly cough. Rabbit spin goes away. Flame charge. Perfect. Okay. They say hide and hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could have myself in the crowd. I'm all. Well, it's not going to help you to try and be be freaking Doctor Who either. Get out of the phone booth. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. No, you won't, mate. No, you won't. Eric, just hand over the freaking key card. Ferro Seed. It's not even evolved. That should really present absolutely no problem then. Gonna brick break it open. Ready to brick break some X. Bye. Oh, well, I guess it's a seed, but. Ooh, Iron Buffs. Okay, so it hurt me a bit. It's fine. Not a big deal. Good XP. Steelix. Um, once we, once we've evolved our Slowpoke, I guess we'll have to look at the. Uh, yeah, I have some. I have some of my support. I know you can keep the beating going. You're the best, Marnie. <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll have to have a look at the move pool of the evolved Slowpoke because I think. Then we might be skipping some attacks, but the good thing is we can just go back and look at them in the Pokemon Center, so it's not a big deal. I just need to remember to do it. Some good levels. Headbutt. Um, that's a normal type attack. Fairly decent. I don't actually have a physical attack. What is our... Oh. We are actually a physical attacker, aren't we? In that case, it's probably better to replace um, Acid. Especially because right now there's not even any same uh, any stop, so... Hiding didn't work, and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run! Ah. <clears throat> Seems like you've got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An earfall from Miss Oleana is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Oh, no, right. Now he decides to try and take the monorail. 
Team Yo, go and find her. We'll call the league staff member at the stadium together. <laughs> not, not. I know my voice acting is super not on point, but again, I'm tired. I'm dealing with allergies. My voice all kind of not there. I'm sorry, the quality of this is a bit lower. I don't have time to record at any other po uh, that, 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 at many other points of time before the next battle against Vox. So this is what you get, mates. <laughs> Wait, is Hop, Hop is left-handed? Oh, no one noticed. You did a cracking good job of cornering the bat uh, league staff member, Maddie. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rocking deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with tunes to play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. Doesn't even rhyme, mate. Although I guess songs don't need to, but still. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Pierce! Go, Pierce! Hey, isn't that Pierce? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Then everyone takes out their phones. This is. For as much flag as we give Pokemon, that's one of the more realistic aspects of this game. At least currently in today's society. <laughs> we got the key, Pierce! We can take the monorail to, monorail to, to, to Rose Tower now! Yeah, I'm about as confused as, as Marnie there. <laughs> Matty, hop! Now's your chance! Go, get out of here! Show thing, boss. <clears throat> Do I get healed before I go in here? I know I've said this in my monotype run, but this this tower reminds me so much of the game um, Detroit Become Human. Although you probably wouldn't know until you get to like the end of the game, but yeah. Not a spoiler by the way, just a location that's like shown at some point. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yellow is gonna have their hands full holding up those bad League staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Maddie, what should we do? Well, we should go ahead, right? Good thinking. Let's go cat. Uh, let's go collect Leon and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion. For you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Maddie, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is shout on ahead. An employee's an employee, I guess. Seems that exact lady hit the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion holed up inside. I wonder what he's plotting. You know, no matter how many times I play this part of the plot, and even the first time I got here, my only reaction was, aren't we kids overreacting a bit? Like, Leon's in a meeting, and it's gone over time, sure, but expecting him to have been kidnapped just because he's a few hours late seems a bit excessive. Like, kids be kids, I guess, although could we just throw him a Snapchat or whatever, they have a poker chat. Chop, mate. <sighs> Times like this, when tension and passion was high, remind me of Spike Move in old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going, I'll send some support your way with the, with the yell. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Maddie. Okay, I need to make sure. Do I need um, a fighting type against Oleana? I do not, according to my notes. Cool. So theoretically, we can just keep running um, Sonic up front, and if you're overlevel, so be it. Because if we're we're just not allowed to use him. Um, like, what happens now is a big row of a bunch of battles, so I can't really switch. So, 
It's not like I can undo the problem. But I'll just have to switch him out before we go up against Oleana, which is no problem because we don't need him against Oleana. So I'm just grabbing the few items that are laying around here. Cell battery. Apparently there's a bunch of competitive items on the Isle of, Ar Isle of Armor, which we'll be getting to a bit later. Oh, that's an attack. No, not Rose Tower. I found the attack Rose Tower. I forgot about Eerie Impulse. What uh, an ominous attack to be laying around here. Uh, and an item here. Rare candy. Not bad, not bad. Um, would one of you guys mind healing me? Wait, where did Hop... Oh, hi Hop. Hop, would you... I know we get healed on the elevator. I don't remember if we get healed once we get inside. I just want to make sure we don't lose anything. Which I highly doubt because everything is freaking the same typing. Should I keep Kanti on me as backup? I probably should. He's close to overleveling, but again, I don't think we'll need Kanti. We have other coverage for that typing. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Listen, Maddie. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can dynamize max out Pokemon. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like 100 floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there is no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert, intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. Hey, if Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. We're about to make you not get that bonus, Elijah. <laughs> Sorry, man. Durant. Okay, so this is all the dual battles with... Wait, is it not dual battle yet? Oh. Thanks, Hop, for just standing there. Once we get on the elevator, a lift, sorry, uh, everything becomes dual battles, which should make things super easy. Corns should not be a problem? No, not a problem. I think I'm gonna switch out, um, I think I'm actually gonna switch out Kanti with, with um, Silver Fang instead. Good levels, good levels. Saka levels up again. Elysia, um, you only have one Pokemon. Having to keep up my pocket money. Losing means I'm back in the red. No. <laughs> my bonus. My dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak with Tiamat Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The Tiamat's at the top of the building. All right. We're nearly uh, to Tiamat Rose. Hop on, Lee. Oh, hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Maddie, let's crack on. Yeah, one moment, mate, one moment. I want to reorganize my team a bit before we do that, Hop. Uh, because I actually want to bring Silver Fang, because Silver Fang can use a few levels. Levels? Silver Fang is roughly as fast as Sonic and also super effective against basically everything in there. I'm gonna keep Sonic up front, though, just for safety. I just realized, what does it take to evolve... Um, Golet. Uh, Golet, you evolve at level 43. Okay, so quite a few more levels. That's fine. Um, one thing that I learned from Vox during the last time Vox stream was that apparently, even though it is correct that the, the um, XP candy and rare candy do have the downside of not giving EVs, apparently it's not so detrimental that it's not worth doing it for this challenge. So if at some point we need to grind and I don't want to grind, I guess I'll just use one of our 95 medium rare candies. This is taking ages. Huh? What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. yet. Why haven't we stopped? You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for, for taking part in the Galar Leaks gym challenge. 
yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We'll drive you um, out to protect the many subsidiary companies uh, housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the glorious high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macros Cosmos Construction. I love how these guys are like, we'll throw you out, but at the same time we'll give you a bit of a tour. It's Jane and Matteo. I don't understand her pose with the hand, but sure. <clears throat> Go Sonic! So everything is like double battles now, which should make everything super easy. This is not super effective against Bronze. Oh, okay, I'll do Coffin instead. Boom, one down. Cool, cool. Um, I guess Bronson. I should. Oh, wait a second. Bronson is part psychic, right? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that settles the deal. I am gonna switch to Zelfang. I did not think of that. I should have thought of that. We're fine, don't worry. This is exactly why I play right when I wake up. <laughs> Ugh. Body slam. Yeah, sure. Pop, keep doing that. Are you sure you have nothing that's better? Oh, okay, never mind. That's actually good. Yeah, you didn't see this switch, did you? That still hurts quite a bit, actually. The good thing about this place is that... Um, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, is that... <clears throat> Hop heals us after every battle, so... Oh. Wait, what? Okay, hop, body slam. There we go. Boom. Problem solved. <laughs> These battles shouldn't be a problem at all. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Everyone levels up except for Luca. Send headbot. Um, a psychic? Physical. I think we're gonna replace headbot with send headbot. Yeah. Because that has stat on top of being exactly the same attack, all of that. So, I think that that's well worth it. We've created an extraordinary lift that's safe even for Pokémon battle. Nobody can beat Macros Cosmos Construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. He's so mad. <laughs> if I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet, I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chiam Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only with the floor sense. But that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Macro -Cosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. It's kind of a shame, Th this whole Macros Cosmos thing actually seems to have a lot of thought put into it. But it's just so little explored in this game. Hmm. Wait, so the folks working in the tower could stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for, for us. Let me heal them all. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me heal them all up. I should try and actually move my face while I'm talking because that makes me enunciate these words a bit more clearly. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? Dude. I don't think it's legal for you to try and sign a contract with kids. Although I guess we're teenagers? Teenagers? What are we even at this point? How old are we in this game? I know it's not the, the, the 10 years old that we started with in the first generation. I think they moved it up to be like 13 or 14 years. Are we 16? No. How old are we in these games? I don't actually know anymore. That's a very good question. That, uh, that, that could be worth looking up. Oh well. Doesn't matter for the playthrough anyway. More levels? Body slam. It's 
not very effective. That's because it's still time. I don't understand why Hop thought it was a good idea to lead with his stupid sheep for this. But the good thing is, he dealt, I think, just enough for us to be able to take it out with just one brick break. Okay, never mind. He can take it out with another body slam, so it's fine. <clears throat> more will is done. I think there's just one more battle between us and Oleana. Ooh, incinerate. Uh, attacks and focusing Pokemon with fire if Pokemon is holding a certain item, so there's a barrier, the item becomes burned. Take Smackdown and remove that? I'll probably eventually just mirror the moveset of Kanji anyway. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building's a well over 500 feet tall. That's as tall as around 100 Mateok standing on top of each other. Okay. Fair enough. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Well, bye to you two. <clears throat> and healing up, and on to the next battle. Stop staring, Pop. Stop staring, it's not nice. And door number three. You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the Tiaman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the sky, doing my job for the lofty macro cosmos air. That hand. Why, Adeline? Why? Steelix and Stump on Fisk. Okay. Again, this battle should be absolutely no problem. We'll take Steelix out in one hit or something like that. Maybe two. Okay. Admittedly, a bit optimistic. Steelix is very strong. Uh, how did you stun the stun Fisk? No? Okay. Bounce. Alright, okay, that's fine. That's one turn where nothing will happen with Stunfisk. Screech does what? Lowers my defense. I wouldn't worry about that. Since bounce is a normal type move? Question mark? Last thing I want is to lose lose freaking Sonic, that's for sure. Double used body slam didn't hit anything. Stunfisk bounces back down. That that hurt weight more than I Oh, it's actually super effective. Okay, never mind. Um I'm kind of impressed that the NPCs really just aim for me. Unlike normally, I'd, you'd see them aim a lot for um, for Hop. Oh, Paralysis. <clears throat> paralysis, that's perfect. He bounces. If I'm lucky, he gets paralyzed before he gets back down. What is the what is the typing of bounce? Let me just check that. Because I'm actually curious. Is it a flying move? It is a flying move. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just switch to Silverfang then. Silverfang has no problem with flying type. <clears throat> I learned something new today. It makes sense. We'll intimidate the opponent, even though they're not here. <laughs> We're gonna bounce down and hit me because... Oh, not me. What? Flamethrower you. Should take him out, I'd assume. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, definitely. No problem there. Sonic is almost uh, at the max level, which is again not a problem. Amnesia, what even does that? The user temporarily empties its mind to forget its concerns. It sharply raises the user's special defense. Ooh, that is good. That is good.
I do like the music on this place, by the way. Oh. I don't... Oh, I've never... Hmm, that's really tough because all the other moves seem so good as well. Nobody can beat Macros Cosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. Yeah, we get the floaty feeling when a lift is going up. <laughs> Not really, I get paranoia. I don't like being in elevators. Or paranoia, but I don't like it. Don't you presume to meet the Tiaman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. <clears throat> you know, that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Tiaman Rose is at the top of the top. Not just of this tower, but of all of Galar. Galar! Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Looks sharp, let's do this. Okay. I have to fight one of my favorite characters of this game in just a moment. There's so many good characters in this game. Oh well. Okay, so before we actually go up against her, first thing we do is select our team. So, I have a chart here. Because I did my research. Let's see, what do we have of matches here? Uh, dur, 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 dur. Fire, fire, ground, ground. Definitely want some fire and ground. Starting with Frostlass. Frostlass should be fairly easy to take out with Silverfang, I'd assume. Um, what level? Level 50. That is, but we are good level. I'll bring Kanti as a backup fire type. Um, and also, oh, he's rock, he's not ground. We have water, ground. What am I using ground against? I'm using it against Salasol, which is fire, so that should be fine. And ground against Garbodor, which is also poison. Poison, according to my chart, is good against grass and fairy, so we should be fine with bringing <clears throat> Miku for that as well. One moment. <clears throat> Alternatively, a uh, psychic type for backup is not a bad idea. And then... My Lotic. It's electric or grass. Oof, I feel like we haven't leveled up our grass tiles for a long while, huh? That's a problem. I might use some XP candy for that, actually. Um, just to get a few levels. My Lottie could end up being a problem, actually. I think for everything else we're fairly set. I will, however, do... Oh, actually, why am I not doing it through here? It's much easier. We will need to bring some items. Uh, so, Silverfang, I would like for you to just deal more damage. Wrong button. Um, that's here, right? Sword by type. Yep. Okay, let's see. Oh, Kings of Rock. Flinch. Ooh, not bad. Uh, but we have charcoal somewhere, don't we? Yeah, we do. It's not like... Actually, isn't... Um, come to think of it. The expert belt is better than charcoal, right? cannot remember. It feels wrong. It feels like the specific typing item should be better than the the overall item. We'll give we'll give Kanti the other one. Um the expert belt. We'll give Miku Miku is supposed to be our ground slash water type. Oh kinda want to give them the expert belt to be honest. Rocky Helmet. Um, did we have leftovers? We have leftovers. Okay, we're gonna give... Move this to you. We're gonna give Kanji the leftovers instead. I think. Um, Yosuke, you're gonna get the glasses because 
the four of you wearing those is just freaking adorable and it seems to be working. If I remember correctly, at least way back, Morgana. We want you to be boosted in grass type attacks. Um what even boosts grass type actually? Uh, hmm. Like clay. Smooth rock diverter. Boost speed, but only allows you to use one move. That might actually be worth it. I think we're gonna give Morgana the choice scarf. Because if we're gonna be up against my Lotic. We're probably only going to be using one move anyway against him. Oh, whoops, not go to the graveyard. Seed Bump. Oh, wait. Is Seed Bump... Seed Bump is super weak, isn't it? Oh, I need to get used to the controls again after playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> no, it's actually not that bad. But it's physical, it should be fine. And then with the other thing on top of it, so we're faster. And then with a bit of candy on top of that to get some levels, I think we should be fine. Uh, get to the top. Just use this one. I think getting it, uh, getting Morgana to level 48 should be fine. Oh, okay, 49, sure, I'll take it. Around 50, I think, is fine. Phantom Force, oh, wait a second. Do like Phantom Force? It is better than Shadow Sneak. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like this team should be able to take her on. Save just because that's a uh, like forty-five minutes that I do not want to lose. Okay. Just checking the list again. Making a list. Checking it twice. No, wrong time of the year. <laughs> Welcome to Tiamat Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the Earth. So you got through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Tiamat Rose. You shall be the first, Maddie. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In this, in that state, he will listen to anything the champion says. I love how animated she is. Also, one of my favorite battle themes of this game. Okay. Too bad I can't hear it right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, this should not be a problem. I did not consider what to actually Dynamax, but I think it'll just be whatever goes up against Garbodor, to be honest. Oh, right, we have double... Um... I think it just put Flamethrower should be fine here. You're gonna Hex me? It's not very nice, but I'm not status effect, so... It's at least quite a bit of damage, actually. Okay. That should... Yeah, one hit KO it. Gonna turn down my audio a bit because I just realized it might be picked up by the microphone. <clears throat> my, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my partner. What kind of level up? Cool. My Lotic. Okay, this is the one. This is. This is the one. This is the one I'm afraid of. It's not even the one she's gonna die max, but it's the one I'm afraid of. Simply because our type coverage against it is. Not the best. Anything grass type is something we're not that well equipped for. I just. Well, not grass type. Water type. It's, it's really tempting, but I think it's best to just keep going with what I had planned. Yeah, I should be able to take it down in two. I don't think she can do anything to her. Oh, Akron is not that powerful, especially against, against my attack. I think it, it won't heal enough. <clears throat> so she's basically just wasted her turn. 
I need to take something to drink. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so we took that out. Then we're gonna go deal with Salassel. Salassel should be... Oh, what did I plan for you? You're a ground, rock, water, psychic. I can basically pick whatever I want. So we're gonna go with Miku against uh, Salassel. Because it has both the ground and the water. Even though... Miku is... <laughs> Miku is sleepy, I forgot that again. I love that they have that. But yeah, um... Not the strongest Pokemon in my belt, but it should be fine. I think water, poison gas. Poison against me should not really be a problem. Although it does escalate per turn. I do think we'll take it out before it becomes a problem. Yeah, we definitely will. Does she, ha she has a full revive, right? At least one. She's gonna use that now. No, she's not. Menace Shock. Okay. Does Menace Shock deal more damage when... Ooh. It's not very effective. But it's strong anyway. <clears throat> okay, so I hope I... I hope I didn't plan, I was about to say. Hmm. Well, I will have to plan around not being able to use Miku anymore. I don't think I need Miku more for this battle. Otherwise, I'll just have to throw a full restore on them. I think we have that, right? Serena should be fairly easy to take out with... I think thinking Silverfang should be able to deal with that, actually. Serena is just straight up grass? Yeah. She does have some fighting moves. Fighting is not good against fire, no. It's, it's neutral. We do intimidate, which means she deals less damage as well. She is a physical attacker, so it's definitely good. That we did that. I um, think we should be fine without healing. Unless it's secrets. But I could also just take it out in one. No, I cannot. Top kick. That is a really powerful attack on the right opponent. I'm not the right opponent for that to be very powerful. She does lower my attack. Shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> we'll take down Serena. This is super easy. It was really only my logic I was worried about, but okay. Um, I'm thinking we'll go out against Garbodor. We'll Dynamax Yosuke. Yosuke needs some spotlight. It's a psychic type. It should be perfectly fine. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Oliana's gotta finish this. Why third person? <laughs> Oh look, it's literal trash! Okay. Mindstorm. Hey, Oliana! How do you like the. Wait, is, do I always Dynamax Blast? I guess I do. Yoink! I really wish I could see the glasses on this thing. <laughs> okay, Yosuke. He's so small! I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular, like a Gantamax at Rose Tower. She's so mad. <laughs> okay, Garador. You big, but I'm big as well. This should be fine. Okay. Theoretically this should be scary, but I'm not really afraid because I think we'll take it out in yet just two hits. And I don't think it'll do much to us, especially with this field around us. The battle field just got weird. Rock fall. Oh, uh, that does hurt a lot. That was a critical hit. Okay, so I can play this two ways. Um, I can play it safe. Or I can just win. I think I'll just win. <laughs> because we're faster. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Now we get an awkwardly silent cutscene. Still don't understand why there's no music in that cutscene, but you'll see if you haven't already watched it before. And no one overleveled. I'm actually impressed. 
float all of this in a 100 level. Yay! <sighs> I wasn't able to win. Oliana, you really are a hopeless woman. I love, I love how after all that angriness, she's just kind of like, well, okay. <laughs> just, just resigns to the idea that she lost. Uh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. <laughs> Typical Maddie. You and Arcanine are unstoppable. Everything I did, I did to further Tiamat's own goals. <clears throat> Leon. We discussed this a hundred times already. And still you fail to understand what's at stake? You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. <clears throat> what difference is what one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this, this madness. It's to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No... You don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from here, from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today... Well, what Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert strategy, so that all uh, can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years? Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Yama. And I give my word I'll help you with your plans, just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Pierce and Marnie and all the team yelled out balls, they will help us get here. I must apologize to you, huh, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of that, Hop, Maddie. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, eh? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. Just stare. If you'll excuse us, Tiamon Rose. And I do hope we'll, uh, you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. <laughs> one for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We... No, I am going to change the course of history. Dun, dun, dun. The next evening. We walked downstairs so awkwardly. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Challenge you, Maddie. The finals will be starting shortly. Am I? I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Cinderace, I'll be happy to give you one. You didn't even use Cinderace yesterday. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other league staff. I'm one of the good ones, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oliana can be a little... Extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you no need to worry about today's staff. All of us here, uh, all of us are here for the right reasons. 
Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then, yeah, Maddie? Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to Winton Stadium? Yeah, sure, take me there. Then let's be on our way. Make your way to Winton Stadium. Do -do -do -do. And we'll go here. Uh, actually, um, come to think of it, we will fly. Because next time we're gonna be taking on the Isle of Armor, and I will explain a bit more about that. Where? It's like down here, right? If I remember correctly. It's at least where we got the slowpoke, so I'm assuming this is also where we have to do it. So I'll go heal now. We'll end the episode, and then next time we'll be um, heading for the DLC. Vox and I debated for a long while how to and if we should include it in this um, Nuzlocke. Um, also, by the way, max levels are now 55. Uh, we decided to do it because we were both losing steam in regards to getting this done. And at least it gives for a small break into an area we haven't really been. So some content that's new for me it's brand new and I have no clue what to expect from it so I'll need to prep a bit before that not so much I'm probably not gonna actually research anything um, but I am gonna need my spreadsheet so I can keep track of where I've caught stuff because we'll be catching stuff everywhere um, but for now thank you very much for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will be seeing you next time bye for now